What's good, Ghost Gang? It's your boy, Ghost Fighter 2 Ts. We back with another informative video. And uh, today, I'm helping myself record because uh, my family members are not here with me. So I'm doing it on my own, so bear with me because I'm looking up to the left, but my camera's over here. I see you. All right, so here we have it. We're going to be talking about a way to get quality headsets without spending tons of money. So this will be one of the best budget headsets. Um, I know a lot of you guys are out there looking for headsets, but we're in a hard time right now. We're in a time where uh, money needs to be saved instead of spent. So if without a doubt, you don't have any way that you wanna get some new AirPods because you lost one of them, this could be your backup. And I'm gonna just show you guys, I'm just gonna start it off by just giving you the display. It's awesome. I have everything good to say about uh, the way that they give off the image of how good these headsets could possibly be. You won't know until you actually use them, which I'll be coming with a later video of me actually day-to-day -day using these and to see if they're really durable and how long, how long will they hold up? Because I bought a pair of AirPods lookalikes that were like this a little bit. They're a little bit thicker than these. These look just like the AirPods if you look up close. You literally, you wouldn't know they're not AirPods other than the case is a rounded, more oval box instead of the rounded top. You wouldn't know. So these are 20 hours of a uh, booming bass, uh, the true wireless earbuds, noise isolation, the QI charging case is what these are. Uh, it has sharper image, and you can pretty much find these on any site. I'll tell you right away where I got these from. I got these from Kohl's and you're gonna see it at the bottom. It shows a $29.99 price tag, but I was able to get these with some rewards and my wife's discount for $20. So if you guys are looking for some headsets that are not $100, $150, $200 for some AirPods, even though I'm recording on my iPhone, this will be my second 4K video that I've, I've uh, done on my iPhone, but, and I'm enjoying it, it's awesome. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that you can get some budget stuff. And I'll just show this up close so you can see exactly what it is. Dual charge, charging, it's, it's sweet, man. Like you can literally sit it on a pad that will charge stuff and it'll charge your headsets as well. So it does dual charge and gives you up to 20 hours of use. I mean, it's it's sweet. And then it says four hours uh, on one charge. So um, I'm gonna assume that every four hours you're gonna need to like either have them inside of this case or what, because it, it says 20 hours maximum play time, but it says uh, charge and one charge, it says four. Four hours. I'm get. I, I'm. I'm gonna assume that means four hours it takes to charge them up completely. But then you get 20 hours of use out of them. Uh, they're crystal clear quality sound, and it's the IPX4 uh, sweat proof. Uh, is there anything else you guys need to know? I mean, there's some little details in here. You can pause it and uh, take a look at it. We'll be in 4K, so it should be really clear for you to read uh, all the little specs they have. And uh, we're gonna get right on into the unboxing. We're gonna lay this down. It has a little finger tab here and you just kind of pull it up like that. See that? And then, okay. So there is the, and it says sharper, sharper image. So that's what it is by. You can see it has the charge port underneath. And I wanna say that's, it looks like C charge port. Look like it may be C, but uh, there's the inside. Oh, and it has a, it has like a little magnet that closes it. You can see it has the engraving of where the headphones go, and it snaps shut. So it has like some type of magnetic uh, quality feel. Feels really nice. Uh, and here are the earbuds, so you get kind of an idea. They're sweet. They're sweet. And I think normally the regular AirPod earbuds don't have these on it. 
So this one is a, a left and a right. I want to say this one is for the left and the other one's for the right. I'm not sure. Let me see. Let me, let me. I want to, I want to, I want to say that this one's, that this one is the right and this one is the left. Yep. Like that. So you can get an idea of what they look like on my ear. Yep. I think that's exactly how you're wearing one's right, one's left. So you have those, you have that. And then you take this out. And yes, it will be C, which I think that is a nice upgrade that they're using the C uh, port instead of uh, the old HDMI, which used to get stuck and messed up so much. So glad that they don't have those on there. Those things get messed up so easy. And then you see it comes with like kind of like a plug and play manual, what to do, how to, which one is the right, how to stick it in your ear. So it's showing you on, it has an on and off uh, button and it shows left and right. So I don't think there's any buttons on, on these. I think you just link them when they're charged and they come on. I don't, I don't, I don't see any buttons that you need to mash. Even though I see power, it shows. Uh, it says voice activate, power on and power off. So it's saying touch, control, count. Okay. Okay, so it must be a way that you can touch these for three seconds. Oh, wow, you literally do. Huh, wow, you literally actually touch the, cause I was like, it gotta be touch interface. That's, that's kind of some good technology they have in this. So if you touch it for three seconds, and I touch this one for three seconds, oh, they're both on. You see that blinking? Touch that one for three seconds. And the light comes, let me see. Touch it. Up. One, two, three. Maybe I'm not doing it right. One, two, three. Because this light's on. See, so it wants me to pair it. That is sweet. Wow. So. I'll take and put these inside of here. I don't really care for the case opening. The case opening is kind of, uh, not really sure how to explain it, but the case opening is, you gotta be careful with it. Cause I think if you don't be careful with it, it's gonna break really easy. So the top of that may be an issue later down the road, but you're only gonna need the part that sticks down there to charge it. but. I don't know, I just don't like the way that it, see look, if I go like this, straight back, it wants to work, but if you do it, look, if you scoot it up and try to put it back, it doesn't, I don't know. I think they just could've did a better job with the top of this. I am glad I got C, and if you look in the box, it has all different size uh, earbud pieces for your ear. And then of course, uh, you know, that can come out, and, uh, and then it has something just to keep it, you know, Keep it from getting uh, what do you call it? It'll keep it'll keep it from getting moisture. So I mean, there you have it. That's the full unboxing, and uh, I'll be back with a further video that will actually show uh, me have used it and kind of like what it all uh, the quality and everything sounds like. I hope you guys enjoyed this informative video uh, of the the sharper image. That that must be who it's by. Uh, true wireless earbuds, noise isolation, QI charging case. Uh, they're high quality. I do like how you can touch the ears. You just put pressure on, uh, point on them. But uh, this is your boy Ghost Fighter Two Ts. Hope you guys enjoyed this formative video. And uh, this was maybe something you might want to go out and get. I gave you all the information. Gave you the price point. Twenty bucks with a thirty-five percent off. And uh, I mean. 
we're gonna see. We'll be back with another video that's gonna tell us if this is uh, really headphones worth getting over the iPod. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go start to the T's and I'm out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like this.